Folks, if you heard at the tail end of Dion and I's last conversation, he sprung something on me that I didn't know about. He has a website, DionTalk.com, where he is giving away a binder course. And I did say giving away. Dion, what the heck, man? That is a great module in my course, How to Get Started One Rental at a Time, in the bonus section. But now you're giving it away for free? That's amazing. So what... <laughs> Uh, it's free for now, right? Not <laughs> like, free for now. Get free it today. for now. So uh, that's that create a sense of urgency. But my actual intent is to keep it free forever. So I mean, don't don't read me wrong there that I'm going to upsell the binder course later. It's something I think that helps tenants and helps landlords. And there's not too many things that kind of do both. Um, so I want to get the information out to as many people as I can. And I get a lot of questions. And I often and I apologize if there's somebody watching and it was you, but drop the ball because I get a couple thousand emails a week. I reply to as many as I can, right? And so sometimes I've missed one. I hate that. So now it's, and it's the website's weird. It's one of those weird websites you have to type in www. Like I haven't seen a website like that in a, in a long time. So I'm not a tech guy. I'm probably doing it wrong. I'm building it. <laughs> but it's www.deontalk.com forward slash binder. And the course is there. I, I put in my spreadsheet that I track my income and expenses on. So, you know, oh, people wow. have asked me for that. And I, I think I've replied to all of those because I kind of search for a spreadsheet. And I put in my seller financing pitch letter. like, And, oh, and don't nice. just copy it, paste it, and send it. You you tailor it to the deal that you have going on. Please. Yeah. Folks, right. this, is not, this is not copy and paste. This is, it's a model. Right. It's a framework. Right. It's a model. You can copy, paste, and then go through and make Sweet. sure it matches what you're looking at doing. And the idea is those are the things I get asked for the most. I want to make them accessible where people don't have to rely on my memory of getting back yeah. to an email. Um, I love that. And then I don't know if I'm messing up here or not, but I made some jokes about like, I, I don't want to create a job out of this. I I, I, I charge $5,000 an hour for an hour of my time. I'll give away an hour every now and then during one of my live streams. Um, but I also put a link in there to purchase an hour of time Wow. I've adjusted the price from 5,000. It's not quite 5,000 anymore. Um, but I don't want it low enough because here was my problem when I first started giving out information. I was answering questions on bigger pockets, you know, th threads and, and sure. Facebook threads. And um the the reason I started YouTube was it was the same questions. Yeah. And so I could start sending, hey, here's here's the video, here's the video. I would take calls, you know, five or ten a week. You know, a couple yeah. hours here. What, what does it hurt me to spend an hour to try to help somebody? But I was just getting people who were like, that guy will talk to me. Yep, sure. So let's do that. And then they don't do anything. Yeah. They don't right? do anything. Like I probably had a couple hundred calls with five people who took action. So I did, I put a price on the call. Yeah, you should. Uh, uh, to, to kind of weed it down to those people who are going to take action and actually benefit. From yeah. It. And so I don't create a job, but right? I don't want to, you know, spend 40 hours a week talking to people about finances. I, um, that's not true. I probably do want to do that. <laughs> but I don't want to make it. it a requirement, right? You know, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. You know, you know what we should do first is we've said the word binder strategy. We're assuming everybody knows what it is. Oh, yeah, that is my mistake that I do too. So it's a strategy where it's a tool. I get my tenants to ask me to raise the rent. And then when I agree, actually have a binder here of it. When I agree to it, the tenants are happy and tell me thank you. Yeah. And happy tenants don't trash your property and they don't leave. Like I have in, in over a decade of investing now with 16 units, I've had a total of four tenant turnovers because one passed away, one inherited a house, one purchased a house and one moved out of the area. So I don't have very much tenant turnover because I have a strategy. To keep them happy. Keeps the tenants happy. So in the course I broke down, you know, what is, what is the binder? How does it work if you have property management? How does it work if you use section eight? How do you do it if you're investing at a distance? Um, how do you, you know, all of the different ways all broke down into little videos because I've got a couple of videos on YouTube, but if you want to know something specific, it's hard to go and watch, yeah. you know, thousands of hours of content and to, to even search for what you're looking for in that moment. Um, so that, that was my, the last couple of weeks trying to figure out how to put all that together and make a website and um, <laughs> GoDaddy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not a spawn. I'm, I'm using them. So it's not a, yeah. what do you call yeah, it? I use them I'm too. not an affiliate. Yeah. I'm never going no. to be after this statement, but not user-friendly. Yeah. Um, so I'm hoping We're that just not techie people. We're just not. It's just, no, I don't get it. No. And my kids are too old. I, it would be easier if I had a 10 year old around here to help me. <laughs> exactly. Stuff like this, but 
Um, yeah, this, so, this is what the binder strategy is for me, right? I, I've been a landlord for a long time. I've never had to have those conversations because I've always had a property manager between me and the tenant. But a lot of landlords will self-manage. I think the numbers are about 70, 72% self-manage. And the, the one, I don't know, opportunity for a mistake is raising rent. Right. A lot of people just take people to market and that get that causes the decision, a decision to move and all of that. When I heard about the binder strategy, which I'm sure was over three years ago, I'm like, that is genius. You this is how I summarize it. You, the landlord, prepare a physical binder because the idea is to go there and share it with them, right? So you prepare a physical binder with relevant information. Right? Like these are similar properties near you and these are the rents near you and all basically all the stuff the tenant's going to do if you raise the rent, right? Again, let's say they're a thousand bucks and market rents 15, just for example. Most people would say, great, I'm going to take it to 15 or maybe 1450. It's just, it's market. But by doing that without communicating, you're going to force the tenant to at least evaluate other options. And you take that away from them. They're like, here's all the available stuff. It's all in the same school district, all the same, this, that, the other. And then this is so genius. It's just who you are. It's just like, you're so good. You basically go to the tenant and go, hey, with all this information, what do you think is fair? That and question. then they say 1350. And you're like, done. Everybody wins. So, so here's why I think it works so good for the tenants. If, and we're going to use your number. So if, if the tenant is currently paying $1,000 a month in rent and area average is 15, that's very close to what I have. My tenants were paying eight or 900 and area average was 16. So it's really close, close to that. enough. And you're in most places. And let's say you want to do a 10% rent increase. You raise the rent $100. You're a jerk. Tenant's going to freak out. They're going to be, they're going to tell everybody it went up a hundred dollars. We were only paying it. That's a 10% increase. Most landlords do a three or a 5%. And mine's such a jerk. He does a hundred percent. But if you go to the tenant and how many tenants have been included in the conversation of setting the rent, right? Like, this is not oh, something zero. that they're used to. No. So you're, you're showing respect to them and you're educating them. You're saying, look, if you moved out, this is what all of the other rentals are. They're about 1500. I don't want to kick you out. I don't want you to have to move, but I can't keep losing money. What do you think is fair? The tenants every single time, the ones where they were 800, 900 and their average was 16 went to 1460. So we're talking, oh, you know, four or $500 a month increase. And then the tenant is happy. At but if their I did request. one, if I did a yes. $100 a month increase, I'm a jerk. And I will not go on to the LLC rant on your channel, but for example, in California, there's rent control. You, you can only go up 5% plus inflation with a cap of 10%, right? Correct. Unless it's a single family house in your name, then rent control doesn't apply. Put in an LLC, now it's in an entity and you have to go by rent control. So in California, my brother has used the binder strategy because rent control doesn't apply to his single family houses because they're in his name. A 10% increase would make you a jerk. The tenant asks for a 30 or 40, and the, my average in the last couple of years was between 20 and 28% because it was a reuse of the strategy. Sure. But at the beginning, when I buy a property on the MLS where the rents are too low and the tenants ask me to put the rents to where I actually get the return I'm looking for or better with very little tenant turnover and tenants don't get displaced and tenants it's, feel it's like- It's a win-win oh, for everybody. I got it to is. be in the conversation- that's why as far as making a course and taking the time and, and saying, this is how you reach financial freedom. And these are all the steps. Yeah. That's probably going to cost people if they want to not have to watch thousands of hours of content and get that in a, a succinct form. But the binder, my intent is always for free. There you go. Again, folks, uh, get it today. www.deontalk.com slash binder. Get it today. Dion, you're amazing. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Mike.